My name is Hamida Mustafabi. I graduated from Duke and from ICS in May of 2018, and I'm originally from Indiana. So some of my most memorable experiences with ICS, there are so many. I, I love the intro course, ICS 195, that I took with Professor Namakon. She's brilliant, and she's, she teaches it amazingly. And it's an introduction to so many important issues that people just don't have. Issues of representation, issues of exploitation, and what capitalism is, and all these different kinds of ideas that are, get thrown around a lot, but nobody really knows, like the theoretical, or no, no one really knows what these things are. Someone can say the word Marxism, but if you haven't actually read Marx, you're not going to know what that is. And ICS 195 was like a great introduction to all these really relevant topics. And again, Professor Namakal has been amazing. She's been, she has made my ICS experience as good as it has been. She's been an amazing mentor. She's not only a woman, but she's a woman of color and she's been super supportive throughout my entire time at ICS. And I am where I am, like in a large part due to her and the mentorship that you get from ICS in general. So the way that ICS has contributed to where I am now, I have no an undergraduate anthropological background, but because of the, strength because of the skill academic skills that ICS gave me I had very good training such that I was accepted into three of the five linguistic anthropology programs where they were offered I was accepted into anthropology at University of Chicago New York University and Northwestern and I'm currently a first year PhD candidate in linguistic anthropology at NYU um, is what I'm doing right now so and ICS has been a huge part in getting me there my thesis was on looking at uh, representations of blackness in Iranian entertainment. Um, and I really appreciated ICS because it gave me a way to look at race, which is very much a Western concept, or the way we talk about it now is very much in the Western sense. So it gave me a way to do that in a more global sense. And doing that, I just, I, I had a blast. So I was like, why not make this my career? Why not keep doing this, answering these questions that I have regarding identity and um, race and language and everything? So why not just do that for the rest of my life? I do see myself working in the academy. Eventually I would love to be a tenured professor and to have, and to kind of establish myself in the intellectual world um, and to continue to do both to teach, because I think that teaching is very important. Research is great, but if you can't find a way to make your research applicable and relevant and pass it on to the next generation of scholars, then what are you doing? So in 10 years, hopefully I am employed in a tenure track position at some university. Hopefully I'm not jinxing it, but yeah.